Hey guys, so as some of you know, I had a hearing this morning. Um, although I have been on a struggle bus since my last court day on the 6th um, because of that C word that has been plaguing uh, the world for the past three years, that word uh, finally got me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of signs that made me finally test. <laughs> But uh, anyway, so uh, I did not go into the courthouse this morning in LaSalle County, but my lawyer did. Uh, I did show up there because it was unclear whether they were going to um, allow me to miss pretty much or not, uh, even though I'm sick. Um, so we didn't want to risk it and have them try to put a warrant out for my arrest for not showing up. So, which, you know... Those shady motherfuckers would. <laughs> at least uh, at least the prosecution would attempt to push for it. Um, but, so, instead of going to trial on April 17th, which would obviously, um, it'd have some issues. It would have some serious issues with what's, what's to come, uh, especially based on certain um, symptoms I'm still having. Um, but anyway, um, so... Now, trial is set for June 5th, 2023, so that gives me plenty of time to get better and whatnot, and also that works around some very important um, long set appointments that were going to be a big problem if we had to try to reschedule, um, among other things. And, um, what is it, pre-trial is June 2nd, so I'm actually super excited about that. I didn't really want it pushed off that far. Um, initially, but, you know, whatever. At least I'm not, uh, going to trial sick. Um, and, well, with that being said, got this, right? It just says, you know, the trial dates and whatnot. But if you look right there, it even shows you that the prosecution cares so little about the people um, that they wanted the jury, the judge, everybody in there, and my sick self on Monday, uh, regardless of, of any of it, they tried to object to the motion for the continuance based on, uh, you know, the medical stuff going on and whatnot, I guess. Um, which is rather strange to me since, <laughs> since they claim that I violated their, uh, corona policies and their cell phone policies. And whatnot, but um, I just found that really, really weird <laughs> that they would want me there actively, actively still sick with it um, for a trial, but then they didn't want me in the building at all without it or without confirmed to having it or whatever because I never had it before. Um, before, so <laughs> not sure which moron from there decided on that. Um, but I'm super glad it turned out that way. So I was super stressed like this week because I thought I'd be better. Um, but I wasn't. Um, so anyway, yeah, super excited. So we got a June 5th jury, jury trial here in LaSalle County, um, at the same courthouse where I was kidnapped. Um, I originally did. We tried to push for the change of venue. At this point, I, um, don't even want to waste energy on that. I don't even care. They're going down. I'm not the one that has the burden of proof. I'm also not the one lying. Right, Jim? Right? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I was going to go live. I just still don't feel good. And um, last time I dragged it up forever when it could have been a five-minute video. So, with that being said, I am super excited. I'm super thankful that after my last lawyer, you guys know my last lawyer was a dirt bag, um, a complete dirt bag. Dave Shostokas, terrible guy. Um, but this lawyer uh, and his paralegal Janice, Wayne Slaughter and Janice, um, have, have worked really hard and have put a lot into it, making sure that everything's understood and done and whatnot that needs to be understood and done. So I feel good. Um, right now I don't feel good, but... <laughs> But I feel good about everything, and I'm super glad that Judge Ryan didn't try to go along with their nonsense of objecting when somebody is sick with their Rona. 
um, is that they can properly stand trial. Uh, that, was, that was really kind of them. But anywho, uh, yeah, super stoked. Can't can't say enough more. Um, my voice is coming back some, so that's good. And a lot of things are improving, and I have my taste again. Just no smell, <laughs> among other things. Uh, but yeah, great news, great news. I am so pumped. All right, thanks, bye.